details of the FBI's investigation into Russian interference in the 2016 election. Wow, well, it's 3 a.m., a little bit after 3 a.m., and here I have this little lover boy in my lap. He came up to me and tried to climb up here, so I finally had to um, give him assistance to get up in my lap. But, um, he just is such a good boy. He's constantly looking for attention and oh, you have sharp claws. I know you like to show affection by kneading and massaging me, but your little claws are sharp right now. We'll have to see if we can get get them trimmed a little bit when you go to see the vet on Tuesday. Yeah, but he, he's always wanting to be near me and uh, laying next to me or somewhere close to me for the most part. If he can't be close to me, he wants to be able to see me. You know, he's a heavy little boy. Now, his uh, paperwork showed he was 10.8 pounds, but he definitely feels like 15 to me. So, but he's a pretty boy. Say, say hello to everyone, Homer. Yeah. Say my name is Homer, and that I'm a little bit over two years old. And right now, I, I'm very happy with my new forever home. So just that brother of mine, he, he's a little pain sometimes. He's trying to make up to me right now, but I'm not quite ready to accept his truth. He was a little bully right in the beginning. Yeah, where are you going, buddy? <laughs> okay, there he goes. There he goes. Controversial moves by President Trump that left the White House reeling. What are you gonna do now? In the wake of the racially charged riots in Charlottesville, Kelly was photographed in the background of Trump Tower, looking dour as Trump spoke. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to end this. You don't have any doubt about it either. If I can figure out how. Urged the president to offer a more forceful condemnation of the white supremacists involved, but Trump did not take the advice. The relationship really started to unravel during the public relations disaster surrounding former staff secretary Rob oh. Porter. Porter was accused of abuse by two ex-wives. Kelly initially defended him. The president personally blamed his chief of staff for the fallout. Despite the hiccups, the president repeatedly sang Kelly's praises on Twitter and pushed back on reports that he was unhappy with his work. 